Hey y'all, it's been a while, but we're back. And a lot has happened since we've been gone. Let's talk about it. Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel, We're the Carnivore Couple, I'm Pat. And I'm Caitlin. If you've watched our last video, you knew that we were about a week out or so from having our twins. Mm -hmm. Well, they're here yeah. with a boy and a girl, Easton and Ellie. They are so cute yeah. and they are home. So in this video, we just wanted to give you a quick update on how things went with the birth and how things are going here at home and then what this means for the future of our YouTube channel. So if you've been following our pregnancy journey, you know that things were kind of up and down, mm -hmm. things happened here and there, but we were a lot better off this time around than we were with the first one. Mm -hmm. So tell us kind of a little bit what happened, mm -hmm. how what led up to the birth, and how that went. Yeah. So like Patrick said, things for this pregnancy went a lot better than my first pregnancy. But again, with twins, things can get a little more complicated. Some of the things that we had um, that were kind of complications is that our little girl was always measuring small. So she had inner uterine growth restriction. And then kind of like the last two weeks of my pregnancy, my blood pressure was starting to go a little bit higher, which was a problem I had in my um, first pregnancy. And so on week 36, which is kind of the normal time when twins come week 36 exactly on that Thursday I had an appointment and I went into that appointment and they were doing um, biophysical profiles just to see how the babies are moving how they're doing and baby girl was not doing super good it just mm -hmm. took her she passed the test but it just took her a really long time to do all the things that they were looking for so then the doctor came in and he's like well I'm not sure how much longer we can keep you pregnant. <laughs> Basically, he's like, you're not, you're probably not gonna get to the weekend without having twins. And then he said, I'm gonna go ahead and send you to labor and delivery. Congratulations. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> how that the went. Baby <laughs> came. So yeah. I called Patrick and I said, I was driving home from work at that time. Yeah, because it was said, later in the afternoon. And so. I was like, babe. Um, they told me to go to labor and delivery. I think you should, you know, go home. I'll let you know if we're having the babies today. So they just wanted to monitor me also because my blood pressures, like I said, they were starting to get a little bit more elevated and everything was going okay until suddenly baby girl's heart rate dropped. I think it dropped around 60. And then all of a sudden the room was flooded with nurses. If you don't know, baby's heartbeats are usually around like, what? 100, 150. 150, 180 beats per minute. Mm -hmm. So it's really fast. So her heart rate dropped um they like repositioned me different ways and it was just really scary i was kind of worried that i was going to be wheeled into an emergency c-section <laughs> yeah. right there and i was I, I had just gotten home yeah and you were like hurry get here i'm so like it's like you have to come you have to come and baby girl's heart rate came up but because of that with her biophysical <laughs> profile taking a long time for her to pass and then her heart rate dropping and then my blood pressure kind of escalating they just decided to go ahead and do that c-section that night and i couldn't do a different if you watched our previous video I was gonna have to be C-section because they were both breached anyways. Mm -hmm. So we were just chilling out in the hospital. For a few hours. Yeah. So, I, so everything calmed down by the way. I got there, we still chilled for a few more hours. <laughs> we it was like what, 10.30 when we had surgery? Yeah, we thought about trying to film like, you know, like a birth vlog, like all these That did not work out. <laughs> I, like, I don't know, I just, I'm not, I'm not a camera person and like I like to enjoy moments in person. Yeah. So like, I recorded a few like silly moments of us in the hospital, but nothing happened after that. So <laughs> I'll insert some of these silly moments. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling excited, mm -hmm. nervous, excited, and ready for some two healthy, hopefully healthy babies. Yeah. We're never gonna have two free arms again. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah, around 1030, we go, we have the babies mm -hmm. and Everything went super smooth after mm -hmm. that. Yeah, yeah. Everything went, the 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 C section was fine. Everything was fine. No, mm -hmm. nothing crazy. And the thing that was most important to me, you know, one of my biggest reasons for losing weight and like going on this health journey, is that I wanted to be able to have a healthier pregnancy. And I was able to have a healthier pregnancy, even though it still did end in C section. Mm -hmm. I mean, but a lot of twin pregnancies do. Yep. But I was able to hold my babies right after they were born which was just so precious because I wasn't able to do that with our first. So that was just a really huge win. Easton was born weighing five pounds and then Ellie was really tiny, weighing three pounds, three ounces. And we knew that going in, we knew that she was gonna be a smaller baby. Yeah. So it wasn't like a huge surprise mm -hmm. or anything. And their Apgar scores and everything were fine. They were crying after birth, all those types of things. You got to hold them both in the operating room. I had. I, you did. 
Yep, yeah, we'll you gotta throw, hold him first. We'll probably throw a picture of that. Yeah, but, here's um, that picture. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but you got to kiss him and cuddle him yeah. in the operating room. Mm -hmm. So that, that was, was really nice. nice. And then um, I was jealous of you because I had to go to recovery, <laughs> and then you got to go cuddle them and feed them and stuff. Because mm -hmm. babies who are born at 36 weeks, where we delivered, they have a mandatory like four-hour observation in the NICU. Mm -hmm. So. You were back at the NICU and I was getting stitched up. So they did have that four hour mandatory observation in the NICU. Ultimately, Easton ended up having to stay in the NICU for about a week. Mm -hmm. And then Ellie was in the NICU for a total of three weeks. Three weeks. There was never any serious complications for either of them. Ellie just really needed to gain weight. She, she wasn't. Was just, she was just tiny, and she needed. To, I think like the minimum is four pounds to get out of the NICU. So yeah, she just had to eat and grow, and that was it. Yeah, so, so. she was doing great because you can't even go into a car seat until you're four pounds. There was a pretty challenging time in there where we had. Easton and Wyatt at home, Ellie in the hospital, and our family was kind of just like split apart and we're traveling Three weeks, yeah. all different places, but we are finally all home. <laughs> and now at this point, Ellie, they've, everyone's been home now for two weeks, a two little weeks. over two weeks. Yeah. So we, everybody's been home. We're kind of adjusting <laughs> to the chaos of having an almost three-year-old and two newborn mm -hmm. twins at home. So yeah. We're trying to figure all that out, yeah. and it's been kind of chaotic, but we're starting to get the hang of it a little bit. Yeah, so that's how the birth went. Now let's talk about how things are at home, because I tell Patrick, I was like, either it's getting a little less chaotic, or we're just getting more used to the chaos. I'm not sure which one. Probably the <laughs> second one. <laughs> so we've been home with everybody for two, two weeks. weeks. Yep. How would you say things are going now? Um, the first week was pretty chaotic, very extremely chaotic, trying to figure everything out with like mm -hmm. sleep and schedules and like having mm -hmm. a toddler and two newborn twins. So it's been kind of crazy. Yeah. But now that we're, we adjust the things as we went mm -hmm. after the, so I, I think now after two weeks, we kind of got things figured out a little yeah. bit better, but we figured out how to, what the schedules are like, how to, what, <laughs> what our evenings are going to look like after work, what our weekends are going to look like. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of been crazy, mm -hmm. but now we're at this point we're actually filming a video because we figured wow. things out so we're able to figure the whole weird schedule out and mm -hmm. have a little bit extra time to actually film a video so yeah there we go so, so i'd say we're doing pretty good mm -hmm. we have a 30 by 30 minute schedule that we follow um in the evenings yep or else i feel like like how are we gonna get three kids bathed three kids dinner all the things like make sure that you get what you need i don't know but we're home, it's working. Mm -hmm. I feel like things are going good. So that's how the birth went. That's how things are going at home now. Um, but what does all this mean for our YouTube channel now? Yeah, so you know, typically in the past, we were uploading about a video a week. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, obviously, you know, our health journey, our weight loss journey is I lost 140 pounds mm -hmm. in the last you know year and a half or whatever yep. it is. And then um you had to stop your weight loss journey because of the pregnancy, but mm -hmm. now you're kind of get started get again, started again and yep. get back in the swing of things. So mm -hmm. um, we're just going to continue to upload hopefully about once a week, give or take. Yep. Um, and we just really miss everyone in the comments and mm -hmm. encouraging everyone and all the encouragement you give us. Yeah. And it's, it's just, it's like a, it's like our stay strong family, you know, we just, <laughs> we, we miss everybody. Yeah. We really do miss you guys. And seeing the comments and feeling connected to you guys, but then also on the same side, you know, our family is also really important. So taking that time to really focus on our family and making sure that we are into a new routine before we start adding this little extra piece on top of it, I think was really good. But yeah. now I feel like we're into a place where we, we're getting into our new normal now, mm -hmm. so we can start adding in our recordings and videos. I think the most exciting part for me is that I did have to put my weight loss journey on hold while I was pregnant. I wasn't trying to actively lose weight while pregnant, and I had to sit here for nine months and watch you get all skinny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now it's my turn. So mm -hmm. I'm really excited and motivated to get back onto my weight loss journey and just kind of document that, share that with you guys. Hopefully encourage you to because it's something that's you know it's hard to do it's hard to lose a lot of weight mm -hmm. and so yep. i hope that i mean you've reached your goals i want to reach my goals too mm -hmm. so we're excited to continue you know uploading once a week and and encouraging you guys and it's not just kayla that needs to get back on her journey yeah tell them about it i cheated hardcore mm -hmm. hardcore fell off the rails 
got back in the swing of things, but you have to stay tuned for the next one to see what happened. And to see how much weight he gained. I did gain weight. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. <laughs>